Hi guys, I'm back with another thrift haul. I think we can probably safely call this the sweater thrift haul. I got so many sweaters, it's ridiculous. I'm stocked up. I don't ever need to buy another sweater again. I spent about $68. I went to Last Chance's Monday half off everything sale. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Um, I got this gray beige gap cardigan. Um, it's just your everyday cardigan. There's nothing really special about it. Um, it fits nicely and it's thin, so it's a nice layering piece. Um, and like right now, I'm wearing all black, and it's just a nice sort of contrast. Um, easy to throw on over things, and it's cute and soft. And so, pick that up. Um, the next thing I got was this limited... Um, gray blazer. It's just an average blazer, but it's lightweight. It's got pockets and two buttons, and it's lightweight. I am um, I'm a real estate agent, and I, you know, I have to dress professionally. And it's very hot um, in the summers in Atlanta, and I'm in and out of the car, showing people into houses, and so I needed something lightweight, but that I could also sort of cover up with, because I don't want people judging me by my tattoos right off the bat. Um, so usually I cover it up just so that they don't, you know, first impression isn't based on that. I want them to judge me for me first, and then they can see, <coughs> excuse me, that I have this other aspect of my personality. Um, so anyway, it's lightweight, it's comfortable, and it's, I don't remember how much it costs, but maybe four bucks or something. Um, the next thing I got is this Liz Claiborne, um, cardigan, and it's also beige, but it's long sort of drapey kind of cardigan, like a grandma cardigan um, or sweater, and it's got big pockets, but it's silk chenille, so it's really soft and lovely and nice, and it'll probably attract moths in my closet, <laughs> but it's beautiful and nice and, you know, with a pair of leggings and a black t-shirt, you just put this on in a scarf and you look polished without having to be wearing anything. It feels like you're wearing pajamas. Um, and comfort for me is very important because I, um, it just is. <laughs> it's just important. I like to be comfortable. Um, I bought this, um, ca no, what is it? It's either cashmere, I think it's angora, and it's handmade, and it's this really pretty pink, and I hate cashmere and angora because all of the fuzzies just fall off, and they get stuck in my lip gloss, and it just drives me absolutely crazy. So I never buy this stuff. But I have this really pretty red um, Calvin Klein dress, and it's like a sweetheart dress, and it's perfect for Valentine's Day, and I think that I'll put this on top, and I might wear it one time just to have a really romantic outfit with maybe this rose in my hair and this and then the red dress underneath. Wear it for Valentine's Day, and then I'll probably give this to my mother because she likes these kind of things. I do not. So I got that. I got this jacket. And it's um, Vertigo Paris. I don't know anything about the brand, but um, the jacket is really lovely. It's got this humongous hood slash cowl. I don't know what. I mean, it's gigantic. It could be two hoods. Um, it's almost like a big, huge turtleneck. Um, it's great. I'm going to put it on so that you can see. Um, I paid $10 for this jacket. It's wool and polyester, I think. I know it's a blend. It's wool and something. It's, it's got this huge hood, and I guess it tends to flop over that way, but it can be, you know, like this, like a real hood, and sort of be up over your ears and be really nice and huge, or over your head and be nice and huge. Um, and, of course, really warm. It's double, whoops, it's double-breasted. I thought that was really cute. And it's long. It hangs down past your hips. I mean, it's not long, long, but... So I got that. It's very hot in here, so I am not inclined to have that on for very long at all. Um, I got this jacket, and I was really excited about it. It's from H&M, and it's a size 8. And it looks like a members-only jacket or something, but it's got this really cool mod pattern, this print, checkerboard print. And it actually has this cool detail too here 
like this. Um, but it's really tiny. Even though it's a size 8, it's really tiny. So let me try it on right now and see what you guys think. Um, I was thinking it would be cute just with like a scarf and a black tee and a pair of jeans and you zip it up and keep it zipped up. Um, and so it's just a focal point and you don't wear anything crazy with it. Um, I don't know. I thought it was cute. We'll see. I mean, I can still move around in it. It's a little short. That's all. Um, and then open. So, I got that. Um, the next piece I got is this Donna Karen sweater, and I really have no idea why I bought it. I think it's really ugly now. Um, it's got this sort of it's like Jamaican colors, but muted. It's just really awful colors. And it's got pockets and a hood right here and long sleeves. And it's got these big cuffs on the end of the sleeve. Um, and then it also have this, has this huge Donna Karen patch on the arm. I don't know. The colors are terrible. I don't know why I bought it. If anybody wants it, just message me and I'll send it to you. Um, then I got this Liz Claiborne um, sweater, and I really love it because this button detail is really cute. It's got a button on the cuff, um, and then it's got cute little button pockets, and it's just cute over things, you know, another little cute cardigan, white one, but it's soft. It's almost like it's knit, sort of a medium knit. Um, but it's really nice. Again, something just throw over, cover my arms, be a little bit conservative, but still be cute. Um, then I got this. I usually don't buy Old Navy second hand because I won't even buy Old Navy first hand, but, um, it was cute on. I'll show you. Um, it's just a long brown sweater, but these, this sort of weird collar I thought was cute. I probably would never wear it buttoned up. I just wear it open. And it's also very soft. The sleeves are nice length. They come a little bit over your hands. You know, it's just the perfect kind of shrug for winter. Another drab color for winter. Um, but I thought it was cute. Next. Next we have this also another boring drab sweater, but a little white one, and it fits really nice and snug, and um, it's very, very soft, and it hits you in all the right places, um, and I think white in the wintertime is the best. I think a white sweater with some cute pants and some big um, snow boots is the cutest thing you could possibly wear. I don't know why. I love white in winter, and then offset it with a little, you know, something bright cheerful red, pretty earrings, whatever. Um, this is another thing that I got, you know, for work, but it fits terribly. It drives me crazy. It pulls all the time. You lift up your arm and the whole shirt goes with you. Um, so that's probably not going to last long in my closet. I thought it was cute because it was gingham and it was fitted and it was, you know, could be cute with a tie and, and make it real mod, but, um, you know, it doesn't fit good. This shirt is another button-up. I didn't get it for work. I just got it for, you know, it's very, very soft, and I thought it would be nice when um, I'm just being lazy and not trying to dress nicely, but I still would have a feminine touch if I wore this in a pair of jeans. I still would look girly without just looking like a big slob. So I got that, and if it's nice, I've worn it once already, and it does its job great. It's very comfortable and just, you know, good slouching around outfit. I got this sweater, sweatshirt, and it's great. It's got this humongous cowl, and then it's really long, and then it's got these big pockets in the front, and then this big band at the bottom, um, and it's sweatshirt material, so it's just, whoops, just a comfy sweater for the winter, sweatshirt with some jeans, again, so that you look, you still look cute, 
even though you're wearing sweats, basically. So I thought that was nice. In the winter, that'll be real nice and snug. This isn't going to look like much. It's another just boring sweater, but it's the softest thing you've ever felt in your whole life. It's delicious. I don't know what it's made out of that makes it so soft. Let me see if I can find the tag and see. Viscous nylon and elastin. So that's the combo to look for, girlies, because this is the softest thing ever. And it just looks really nice. It fits in all the right places and hugs you nicely. And again, relaxing um, comfort wear, but without looking like a slob, like a t-shirt look. Um, and it's got these buttons on the sleeve that are really cool. Um, it's got them on both sleeves. And it's a v-neck. You could actually put a, a collared shirt underneath and it would be cute too. Next I got two of the same sweater and they're from Target, which again, I don't want to buy secondhand stuff from Target, but sweaters are sweaters. So it's this cable knit one and it's this one is brown, beige, it's got long sleeves and big buttons and this big collar. I probably would never wear it buttoned up. I'll just wear it over stuff. But I got it in this color and in this color. That's what it looks like buttoned up, but I don't think I would ever wear it that way. So that's that. Again, just a throw over. In the wintertime, layers, baby. Layers. I love this shirt to death, but when I brought it home, I found out it has a hole in it. And it's sweatery knit material, so I don't know how to fix the hole. It needs to be darned. But I think I love this shirt so much that I'm going to take it to the dry cleaner um, to have it darned. And I'm going to put it on to show you because it's so cute. So hold on one second. Oh, there goes my hair. I just think it's the cutest. It's so cute. I don't usually like turtlenecks. Woo, look at that hair. <laughs> I don't like turtlenecks. But this one's okay because it's not up in your face. And I love these <laughs> big sleeves and the, where they hit you. It's great. And it changes material. Like this is sort of a um, different kind of knit than this down here is, and then it's got pockets in the front, little kangaroo pockets. I love that. Anything with pockets, I love. So that's really cute. Sorry. Watching me undress. Um, good mess. Fix my hair. Help. Um, then I got this little pullover, and then I, when I brought it home and tried it on again, I really wasn't that crazy about it, but, you know, I'm sure there'll be some time in my life where I want to wear this over something. And if not, I will just give it to somebody. Um, but it's got these cute little buttons on the sleeve and short little sleeves. And then it's sort of an ombre pattern here. Ombre tie-dye combo. Um, so I got that. Goodness, I'm serious. This weather is really rainy right now, and my hair frizzes out. Um, I got this jacket, and I love it. It's a wool, um, like a pea coat, but for a woman, so it fits snugly. It's, it's small. Um, hold on, let me button it up, because you can see the shape better if it's buttoned up. Did I do it right? I didn't do it right. Oh. Okay. There you go. So yeah, it's just peacoat, double-breasted, and it's got this nice big collar, um, really long sleeves, um, and it's got these pockets up at the top, and this sort of belted waist, and then it's also got pockets right here, so tons of pockets. Um, it's nicely lined inside, just really cute. I'm looking for one of those ones that's like this, but the buttons are toggled, so it's that long, sort of wooden-looking piece, and it goes through a loop. Um, I had one when I was a kid, and I don't know what happened to it, but I love that puppy. Um, 
So yeah, looking for one of those eventually. Um, I got this shrug banana republic and it's actually sweatshirt material but it's built like a sweater so it looks like you know another cardigan but it's actually sweatshirt material and it's got these nice big soft cuffs um, and the, the lapel sort of bent over um, it's just really nice comfortable thing it looks like it used to have a belt but it didn't have it anymore and then some pockets so just more sweater 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 Oh, I got this beautiful jacket. So pretty. Um, probably wear this for work. Actually, I went, where did I go? I wore it already once, and I looked so good. I wore it with these pencil pants I have black. Um, so it's got this beautiful silk trim, and it has it these buttons and then it's got it on the pocket and on the cuff and then it fits really snugly like this and it's just the sexiest thing I think I own right now with these pants they're so cute I don't know if you heard anything I said if you didn't hear what I just said I said it's the sexiest jacket I think I own right now it's just so sexy and smooth I love it all right and then I got this jacket at a different thrift haul, but I wanted to show it to you. It's this big, heavy, silk-lined um, wool, and it's, um, I think it's vintage. Um, but it's got this really beautiful detail here, where when you close it, it has this pretty little bow, and then I don't... You, can barely see it, but it's got this sash that goes across. And it's just so feminine and old school. I think it's just really pretty to wear over a dress if you're going out to a special occasion. I just thought it was really cute, really pretty, really feminine and classy. So I got that. I've never worn it anywhere, though. I've had it for a while, but it's about to be wintertime again, so I'll have more of a chance. Um, I also got this bomber jacket, and I usually think they're tacky, but I think the reason I think they're tacky is because they've got that fur hood. Not to say fur hoods are bad. My big jacket, my big long jacket, my Calvin Klein jacket, has a fur hood, and it's similar to this, but I think the small ones, the waist length ones, look cheesy with a hood. So anyway, this one doesn't have a hood. It's just small little bomber jacket for the winter. Let me zip it up and I'm going to show you what it looks like. I think it looks nice. Nice and polished again. Of course, black always looks good. And I'm going to Colorado skiing for my sister's wedding, so I'm going to need some jackets like that one. Oh, I love this jacket too. It's double-breasted. Um, let me show you what it buttoned up. I don't want to put any more stuff on. It's making me hot. Um, it's this double-breasted jacket, and it's snap buttons, and then it's got these awesome buttons here, and then the sleeves are these big, wide sleeves. It's really cute. Really, really cute. And then it also has pockets on the side. Um, okay, I guess I have to show you one more on. And then that's it. These are the kind of toggles I was talking about, but on a different kind of jacket, on like a black bomb, um, what is it? On like a black pea coat, but this kind of toggle is what I'm looking for. Yeah, that jacket I just think is picturesque 
jacket, I imagine, like, being in the Alps or something, or hanging out with Santa Claus with that jacket on. I don't know why. I think it's just so cool, and it's vintage for sure, and it's just heavy as crap. It's so hot when you wear that jacket, but I've had it for a really long time, but I did thrift it, so I thought I'd show you. It's really beautiful. Um, okay, well, that's everything from the sweater haul, and I have more hauls because I have a dress haul still coming at you. So I hope you like it. Leave comments, please. I want to hear from you. Um, I want to know who's watching my videos. Okay, thanks. Bye.